Ultimate Cloud Mini Server 4G Mini Server Firewall Data Data Rapid Deployment. Yeah, I know that. I'm looking for the specifications of for the product that's inside of this package that I received just today, but I can't find it. Well, the only thing that I do know is that this product runs on Windows operating system. And when you look at my office, I don't have any Windows operating system. So I have a challenge to overcome. All right, so let's put on some lights in the darkness. <laughs> okay, so I received this package. I received this package from Shenzhen, China. And as you know, many of the companies in our field are originating from Shenzhen, China, especially the tech companies. So the company who sent me this package asked me to review an infrastructure product. And normally I don't review any infrastructure products whatsoever because I don't want to receive a big rack here at my office to install it, install it. That takes weeks. When Pockstar said to me it's a mini server, I was triggered by the word mini. Okay, I haven't used any Windows computer over the last 10 years. So if I can install and run a mini server from Pockstars on a Windows computer, everybody can do it. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit more on Pockstars. The company was founded in 2010 and it's an IT driven push to talk technology solution provider that creates value added communication solutions for global users through cutting edge technology. Well, that is actually what was mentioned on the website of Pockstars. What I do know also is that the company employs more than 100 professional research and development engineers and with an annual investment of over $200 million, should I say 200 million? 2 million US dollars. Pockstars runs two software research and development centers focused on push to talk in China. And in addition to all of that, this company owns more than 50 patents. And that's probably something many people don't know. Over the last few weeks, I have been doing some homework and investigated in Pockstars. It's a kind of remarkable that from 2010 until 2019, there was not much online communications information available about the company and what the company has achieved, other than the fact that Pockstars launched their POC system for the first time on the 1st of July, 2014. And that's all has to do with this device. However, since 2019, there is a clear international growth path visible. The company participated at Critical Communications World and PMR Expo 2019. It has donated POC radios for hospitals in Wuhan earlier this year in March. And at the same time, the company developed the so-called GeoGroup function that ensures the safety of people during an epidemic. These features work very well when, for example, personnel are crossing a boundary or in a situation where you want to know when somebody is leaving a geofence zone or somebody is coming into a geofence zone. Okay, the announcement that a company is offering global P2T cloud services with new POC radios to be commercially available in Asia and Europe made international headlines. Okay, let's go into this one right now. All right, let's see exactly what's inside this package from DHL. Well, that's <laughs> securely packed, to be honest. Let me see how can I unpack this over here because this is, it's well packed. Let's do it this way. Well, This is the surprise. When we talk about Mini, we really talk about Mini. This is all it takes to connect 200 people on one network. So the next thing is to get this one up and running and then to communicate through those two devices from Rugear. 
Okay, so right now it's time to call Andres from PWA. That's a company which is just around the corner. I think it's about one kilometer away from here. They are specialized in IT services and maybe Andres is able to lend me a laptop, actually a Windows laptop to run the uh, the POC server. Okay, so let's call Andres. Um, Andres. Hopefully he's there. Hi Andries, it's Gert Jan Wolf from MCC Resources. Good morning. Good morning. Andries, I got a question. Uh, I have a mini server here at my desk uh, and I only can run that mini server when I'm using a Windows computer. Now I'm only using Mac at my office. Would it be okay if I could lend a Windows computer for, for just a few days or something like that? Oh, that's just fine Andries. When can I pick it up? Can I pick it up in a few minutes? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. So you're at the office. Okay. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Cheers. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye-bye. That's Andres. You have a laptop available? Yes, indeed. Oh yeah. wow, that's super. So, so PWA, you know, for all your services, by the way. That's a good yes, expression, indeed. actually. PWA for all your services, by the way. Indeed. I have now connected the mini server to the computer with the UTP cable. I now need to download the dispatching software from the internet. This is just a test checking the software of Hoxars. And of course I can also talk back from the dispatching software on my computer. Hello Gert. Hello Gert. Another thing that I'm really interested in is actually to see how the emergency button works. Uh, of course I know it works, you have to press the button, but I want to see if it's been shown on the map. I'm going to push it right now. That was the dispatching software. Now let's go back to the Pockstars mini servers, this little device. Well, as to my knowledge, the company is the first POC solution provider having its servers going through these extreme tests. This was confirmed during my call with Jesse Su from Radio China, which is our partner in Chen Chen. So they are the first company tested this mini server under harsh environment to making sure that the mini server will be stabilized when okay. the customer purchase it. And to be honest, when a company puts their equipment through these extreme tests, it only shows confidence in the reliability of the products. These tests were done at the famous Moore Lab Test Center in Tianjin, which is a third-party professional test and certification laboratory. At Moore Lab, 20 randomly selected units of the mini server went through high temperature and high humidity storage test, low temperature storage test, high and low temperature limit test, and MTBF tests. This means mean time between failures. This is something like the predicted elapsed time between inherent failures of a mechanical or electronic system during a system operation. This was all done between the 26th of September and the 15th of October. As an example, during the MTBF test, the mini server operated at a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 95 degrees for the duration of 318 hours. 
This is the equivalent of 26,280 hours or three years of operation at a temperature of 25 degrees and humidity of 65 degrees. And the result? Well, without any problem, the mini server continued to work for 380 hours, which is almost 16 days during those tests, of course. Okay, more details about these tests can be found on the website of Boxstars or in the press release that can be found in the Critical Communications Review. And like always, when a certain test has been conducted and succeeded, Boxstars received the official test certificate for Morlab. And I guess this certificate now somewhere hangs at the prime position in the Boxstars headquarters in Tianjin. Okay, let's go back to the mini server. As you have seen, the mini server is a plug and play device that is exactly what it makes this product so interesting. With just a few clicks, anyone, just like me, can install the mini server and start instant communications with their teams. The mini server that I just installed is the standard version and it hosts up to 200 users. But there is also an enterprise and advanced version available. The standard version is capable of trunking push to talk, voice recording, positioning and text messages. And this can perfectly be used in hospitals, for example, in hotels, supermarkets, small security teams and event management. The enterprise version, however, is developed to support middle sized businesses. And then we have the advanced version that supports up to 1000 users. This version is capable of multi layer management, real time video dispatching, and connectivity with the private two way radio systems via gateways, for example. Although I had the pleasure to test the mini server included with the Rugbear smartphones for only a week, I think that I had enough time to come to a final conclusion. Overall, I think that Boxstars developed a well-designed, lightweight, durable, robust, easy to install and effective communication solution that efficiently supports business critical communications. The server enhanced with the intuitive dispatch solution and with the possibility to use a great variety of end-user devices makes it possible for Boxstars to deliver next generation communication solutions for many businesses around the whole world. Oh yeah. Only when the license is expired, I found out that there is no communications possible anymore through the mini server.